Hello. In this video, I will show you how to create, modify, and delete suppression rules in Amazon Inspector. First, let's review what are suppression rules. You can use suppression rules to automatically exclude Amazon Inspector findings that match the filtering criteria from appearing on your Inspector dashboard by default. Suppression rules don't have any impact on the finding itself and don't prevent Amazon Inspector from generating the finding. When Inspector generates a new finding that matches a suppression rule, the service automatically sets the status of the finding to suppressed. If you are using delegated administrator setup to manage Inspector across multiple accounts in your AWS organization, it is important to understand only the delegated administrator has the ability to create, update, and delete suppression rules. These rules apply to all member accounts, but member accounts do not have the ability to modify or delete these rules. Now let's see how to create the suppression rule. In the Inspector console, go to the Suppression Rules page, then create a rule. Let's say we want to create a rule that suppresses findings in a sandbox account with a severity level of low and medium. Add an appropriate name to the rule along with the description. Next, we'll add the filters. Inspector offers a variety of filters to match findings such as EC2 instance tags, CVEs, instance IDs, AMI IDs, and many more. Any filters you add here apply as an AND function, which means every filter needs to match. These filters do not apply as an OR function. For the purpose of this video, we will be using the sandbox account ID along with the severity of medium and low. You can view which findings match the filtering criteria in the panel below. Once you are satisfied with the filters, click Save. You have successfully created a new suppression rule. Any existing and new findings that match this filtering criteria will now be suppressed. You can view suppressed findings at any time in the Amazon Inspector Findings page. Change the dropdown from Active to Suppressed. You can now see all of the suppressed findings. You can also create the suppression rule from the Findings page itself. If you wanted to edit a previously created suppression rule, you can do so by going back to the suppression rules page and then selecting the appropriate rule and then clicking on edit. You can edit the name, description, add or remove any filters. Once you're done editing, be sure to save the updated rule. If you wanted to delete a suppression rule, you can do so in the suppression rules page. Check the box in front of the suppression rule and then delete it. If you delete a suppression rule, Amazon Inspector stops suppressing new and existing occurrences of the findings that met the rule and changes the finding status to active. Alternately, you can create, modify, and delete suppression rules programmatically by using Inspector APIs. Visit the Amazon Inspector API page for more information. Thanks for watching.